Modern data center traffic is becoming more and more heavy in east-west flow between servers. If you haven't adopted the new two-tier Ethernet switching architecture called Leaf Spine, you probably will soon. It's a good thing we have QSFE 100 gig transceiver modules. They get you the highest density interconnects between data center switches and to the outside world. Let's see which ones belong where. At the bottom, we have the leaf switches and servers. The QSFP 100 gig downlinks on the leaf switches break out into four 25 gig SFP connections, one for each server. Copper cables are the lowest cost solution for this distance, typically less than five meters. For the uplinks to the spine switches, we have some choices, but it's tied to the type of fiber cable infrastructure you choose or have already installed. If you have multi-mode fiber, you can use SR4 up to 100 meters. Remember, SR4 requires parallel fiber with MMF MPO connectors. For single-mode fiber, you can use PSM4 or CWDM4. PSM4 goes up to 500 meters and CWDM4 goes to 2 kilometers. Don't forget that PSM4 is a parallel fiber format and uses SMF MPO connectors. If you only need 30 meters of reach, then don't worry about installing fiber. Active optical cables will do the trick. For the spine uplinks to other data centers and data center layers, use LR4. Assuming you need up to 10 kilometer reach on dual fiber SMF, CWDM4 works here too. Let's review the main points. Short downlinks to 25 gig SFP server ports can use copper breakout cables. Multi-mode fiber links between leaf and spine can be SR4. Single-mode fiber links between leaf and spine can be either PSM4 or CWDM4. So there it is. Now you have your QSFP 100 gig options or leaf spine switches.